in this quiet corner of La Quinta in this historic 1930s property, the vision, the dream of a valley-wide art park is becoming a reality. Well, I think the, the interactive art park actually means that you can touch, you can feel, you can express. If you have a story, you can tell that story in the storytelling mound and invite family and friends and children from schools and classes. It may be a veteran that wants to tell his story so it's never forgotten. If you're in the mood, you can do chalk art. I want to have music in the park where any child of any age is welcome to just dance. We even have culinary arts workstation where we can feature guest chefs, demos, and cooking classes. Now the interactive art park will be free to the public. It's going to be available hands-on interactive art every day, all year. We started the Old Town Artisan Studio in 2009. Our mission is to give free and low-fee classes. We have the mobile art program. We want to take art to places that wouldn't have art otherwise. And what we discovered very quickly was that as people see the art being done there, they want to do art. One neat thing about art is that all ages can enjoy it. You can be sitting there with your grandma, your mom, your dad, your brother, and all doing the same art project together and everybody coming out with the, the most memorable moment ever. When I'm doing it with my dad, it kind of just brings us together closer and stuff as a family. When you paint, it's like, it makes you proud because you finally do something that you can actually do. It got to a point where people saw what we were doing and more and more and more people wanted us to come and serve them. So we ran out of space. We moved into another location and the same thing happened. Well think of the kids that don't have art in their schools and, and have never picked up a paintbrush. They're cutting back. Music and art are one of the first things to go. And I see it every day. I see kids walk in a regular choir class and leave with big smiles on their faces because they got to be a part of this art which is something bigger than us. When it comes to like ceramics and stuff, it's just so cool to see what you've made like, just out of a spinning, a spinning slab in your hands and water. Between the glass and the ceramics and, and the graffiti wall and the sculpture garden and the studios, everything will be participatory and interactive. It, instead of a playground, it's an art playground. It's, it's a place for children of all ages. Right. They're not on the teeter-totter on the swing. They're in with the drums. They're in there with the canvas. Right. They're in there with the Play-Doh. They're in there with the ceramics. Even people that don't consider themselves actively involved in the arts per se are hugely impacted and affected by this mysterious thing we call art. Well, life was going on very sweetly and um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2002 and it changed everything. After six rounds of chemo and seven weeks of radiation, I had to have something to look forward to. So I signed up for a plein air workshop in Winter Park, Colorado. And that was the carrot at the end of the stick that got me through all those treatments. And I packed my bags and off to Colorado I went. And the only worry I had was that my wig was going to blow off out in the field while I was painting because I was, you know, lost all my hair, bald as a cue ball. But I was determined to go on this workshop. There's such therapy in painting and art and expressing yourself. What we're really excited about is that there are revenue opportunities throughout the whole park. Monies through the rental spaces in the studios, an additional revenue feature will be making the park available as a unique venue for weddings, corporate events, and private parties. And that money will actually be enough to sustain the, the cost of the park, as well enough to give us some revenue for the Otis space. I personally will be supporting it beyond the city's role in making it happen, and I encourage you to do the same. People are excited. People want it to be built. People want to contribute. The donors now get to get in on this at a grassroots level. Their children and their children's children will see their names on that campus. I think it's one of the coolest projects Victory could be possibly involved with.
We hope you're as excited about this as we are. The foundation of our art park is here, ready for you to partner with us so that we can continue to grow our roots and branch out and make art accessible to everyone throughout the Coachella Valley. All we need now is you.